Unfortunately, we have to interrupt the show for an urgent news update. We have just received the report that a young couple has found half a dozen dead bodies in a gutter near the city's harbor. According to the police, there are no indications of the killer, nor the circumstances of the crime. Already now, people fear to leave their homes late in the evening, and I'm afraid that the situation is definitely coming to a crisis now. I expect that Mayor Corwell will have commented on these despicable events by noon tomorrow. With these six new victims, there are now a total of 18 unsolved murders in the last four months. Due to this increasing danger and the as yet unknown perpetrators, we now feel compelled to take the first radical steps to ensure the safety of our citizens. We will all have to accept certain restrictions in the coming weeks. The mayor will meet today with advisors from the interior department. But those who are out there spreading fear and terror must be gone. This crisis has to be overcome, no matter what it costs. Dear Charles, I'm sorry that we haven't found any time to meet in person, but this is urgent, and I'm sure my people will deliver this message on point. I spent the last few weeks observing an officer named John Semlin. He as well as some of his mates seem to be involved in a scheme of yet unknown meaning. I've got you some pictures of John torturing George Hamilton, a victim of the Gutter Massacre. There's this rumor going around that the police has no idea what they are doing. 18 unsolved murders so far and not a single suspect in custody. If I didn't know it any better, I'd claim that someone intentionally tries to throw our fair city into chaos. Take Vivian and get John to talk. You'll find a picture of him in the red envelope. I will follow up on another lead in the meantime. Don't waste it. John. 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 This factory has been closed years ago. 
good, so no one bothers us with stupid questions. You know what sticks in my head? Why isn't Central calling the fucking ambulance instead? It's just a feeling, but maybe police is more appropriate for that. Hmm, I get that. Is your first service out of office? My second. I was part of the Brennan murder investigations. Hmm, impressive. Nonetheless, you should keep yourself on the back. Never know what's gonna happen. Don't worry. The spotlight is yours. Strange that nobody's around. There. Hello there, sir? Is everything alright? Sir? Can you not hear me? This guy ain't losing a word. Show me your ID. Confirm shootout at the Bulletin Club. Suspects have been seen leaving near Hillside. That's pretty close to here. You better leave. I'll take care of him. Stay straight and don't make a move. Let's see what... Bit too much trouble just to kill me. Maybe you take a look at him. Is he alright? Yeah, he'll be fine. Squeeze the shit out of him. I'll try. But hey. Don't you think we went a bit too far this time? I mean. We'll see. John. Feels so good to finally see you in person. I found you have the pleasure here. I think twice about letting that. Let's kill you, you know? Yeah. I wanted to talk with you about something else anyway. Someone once told me that the picture tells three stories. One of those who made it, 
one of those who are on it. And one of those stories is about those who are beyond the frame. Remember that, John? Huh? What do you see on them? What is beyond that frame? I don't have to tell you he's dead. Like a couple of others? Yeah, I heard about that. Such a massacre. What a tragedy. Do you know a man called Priest? Who? Priest! Andrew Priest! Ever heard that name? No. No. Well, he told me that I should get to you as soon as possible. Anything else? He vanished. Two weeks ago. Now tell me, John! What do I see on them? What does Priest want to tell me with it? On your knees, filth. I said, on your knees, filth. The man you wanted. Do you believe in God, Mr. Priest? Who are you? <laughs> and here I thought you'd know who you were dealing with. After all, I'm the man who's responsible for all the suffering and despair in your world. Well, according to this, of course. Hey, 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 hey. Leave him. Watch it. Just a bunch of documents that don't even capture the near scope of how we operate. Or should I say, I... I was right. My compliments. But I'm not the only one out there. There are many more on their to way. To me? Yeah. <laughs> I highly doubt that. I've read your file. Your ambition to re-establish order in the city is very noble. Naive, but noble. Like a young man's ode to the past. Well, unfortunately, one that wasn't so perfect to begin with. I know. The world was in better hands. If our people like you were allowed to reign over it, Scrooge's... And yet, I stand right before you, upholding this new order with my righteous hand. I went to great lengths to get where I am today, and when the time came, I claimed what was rightfully mine. Humans are so easy to convince. Humble yourself before them and they will do anything for you. Even those who are supposed to lead us. But I guess you're not the compliant type now. Are you? <laughs> I'd rather cut my head off than to join you. What a waste. Nevertheless, Desperate times call for desperate measures. Soon I will put an end to this, once and for all. And don't worry about the people you so miserably try to protect. It'll be their choice anyways. They won't suffer much. You and your friends on the other hand. <laughs> we'll have to face imperishable judgment. Priest showed me how fast one could become blind by just facing the right circumstances. My sister. K. 
killed the day we arrived in the city. Until now, the police hasn't found any clues on who did this or why it even happened in the first place. They told me that this shit happens, that I have to get used to it. Simply the truth. The truth? <laughs> the truth is that this city is a fucking lonely shithole sometimes. But what's even more concerning is the fact that no one out there even seems to take any suspicion. Well, not everyone can be as outstandingly clever as you are. Oh! Shut up! Those killings pursue a purpose, right? Because they're triggering people's fear, and that is commonly a pretty useful tool. What makes you think I know anything about it? Well... The priest is a trustful guy, usually. But what he claimed you to be... Well, let's say I had to do some digging for myself. And boy, did I see things. A police officer who kills those he should protect. I bet you even know the names media has given you. What do you want? I think you killed a bunch of those 18. No, you more, a man. What do you really want? Wanna know who killed your sister, huh? Well, his name is Tony, Anthony Barton. I don't know much about him, just that he was part of the Brenner murder investigations. As a matter of fact, he was just with me this very night. You can still catch him, he's only a few blocks away from here. John? Don't you lie to me. No, oh, I will never. Either you tell me the truth, or we're gonna take everything. Every little piece of dirt we know about you. And we're gonna make it public. The public? Yeah. The public, as you like to call it, does not exist. Not anymore. <laughs> Even you couldn't stop the trap that was laid right beneath your feet. Someone intentionally tried to throw our fair city into chaos. How long has this been going on already? Is she? Was she a part of it? She was. She was a vital part of the great reconstruction that is soon set to happen. And as you've hidden yourself, it's all about the fear that drives the people. Give them something to be afraid of. They'll be ready to do anything in the name of keeping safety. Fuck. I'll tell you a secret. It's about to change everything. It will all be your fault. You're lucky I got here. Are you alright? Why is it our fault? What are you talking about? Come on. Because you just can't get enough. Of what? Once upon a time, a man, the representative of the common people, as he liked to call himself, went to a very wealthy business mogul, asking him for a small part of his fortune to fight the injustices that were happening in that time. Convinced that that would actually help, the business mogul decided to grant his wish. If you believe it, that very same man came to the business mogul again, asking for even more. Obviously, the business mogul knew that this could not continue, that no matter how much he gave, it would simply not be enough. So, Took the consequence, 
to decline this wish. Enraged by this decision, the man, the representer of the people, went back to them, told them what had happened, and started the revolution. The very one that you now admire. After a while, things quieted down again. But now, that you've decided to step up to the plate once more, I can clearly see that change is drastically in need. Why so talkative? Because <laughs> I shouldn't even care. Please, tell them, the people. Tell them everything. They don't even care. You know why? Because they live in their little bubble. Only listening to what the media is giving them. Never questioning anything. Until they burn. No one cares about your fucking money. I only want my people safe. Time for us to assemble the rest. The rest? Who else would there be? You said it yourself. It's a lonely fucking place. That doesn't mean he's the only one who prays for a better tomorrow. What the fuck is going on here? Nice old band you got there, but your friends don't improve your odds one bit. We may not be many today, but soon there will be more of us. You've shown us that we got no time to spare, not a minute to waste. You want to make us fear, but all you spark is the fire that will burn yours down. Maybe we won't defeat you or him, but we will not rest. We will hunt every single one of them. You fucking fools! You really think you can defeat a system that has cost billions of dollars in decades in the making? And then what? Have you idiots even bought this troop? Huh? It's time to tighten the grip on these fools. <laughs>